properties of division of integers the four properties are closure property commutative property associative property division with zero division with one and division with minus one so let us start the closure property the closure property tells us that when you are dividing two integers the answer the quotient you can say may belong to integers or may not belong to integers let us take some examples for this let's say you are dividing 30 with 5 what do you get when you are dividing 30 with 5 you get 6 which is a integer good next is if you divide minus 5 with 30 what do you get minus 5 upon 30 giving us minus 1 by 6 now please see minus 1 by 6 is not an integer this is forming a rational number so that means the division of two integers may give you an integer and may not give you an integer right so that was the closure property the next is the commutative property in the commutative property we have the division order if you divide the first integer with the second one it will not come equal to the division of second with the first one let us check this say for example you want to do 10 divided with 2 and on the other side you would have 2 divided with 10 right let us check what is 10 divided with 2 it is 10 upon 2 what is 2 divided with 10 that is 2 by 10 if you solve this you would get 5 and on the other side you would get 1 by 5 which are not equal to each other that means the division of integers can be concluded as non-commutative next we have as the associative property the asso associative property is asking us telling us that the division of two integers in such a way that further the answer is divided with another integer will not be equal to if the order is changed let us check this also let's say for example we are doing 2 or let's say 10 divided with 5 divided with 1 and on the other side we would have 10 divided with 1 divided with 5 divided with 1 now let's check the answers for these what will be 10 divided with 5 it would be 10 upon 5 divided with 1 equal to 10 divided by 5 over 1 so what do we get on left hand side we get 2 2 divided by 1 is 2 whereas 10 divided with 5 is also going out to be 2 so that means please check when 10 is divided with 5 you got 2 and 2 divided with 1 give you 2 right because 1 2 is 2 on the other side if you have 10 divided with 5 divided with 1 you would get 5 divided with 1 as 5 and 5 2s will come as 2 only so that means here the mark has been made wrong that was that has that should be rather equal right the next is the division with 0 when you are dividing any integer with 0 as we discussed any number divided with 0 is not defined in maths so that means when you are dividing any integer with 0 it will it will be not defined whereas if you divide 0 with any integer the answer would be 0 we have done so many examples for this let's say you do 24 divided with 0 this will be not defined but if you do 0 divided with 24 the answer would be 0 next we have the division with 1 anything anything or particularly integers over here any integer divided with 1 will give you the same integer because we are dividing that value in one part only so that will give us the same answer right so anything or any number divided with 1 will give us that integer only the next is division with minus 1 now if you have an integer divided with minus 1 if your integer is positive your answer will be negative right if you have taken up a positive integer divided with minus 1 you would get a negative integer but if you take a negative integer and divide it with minus 1 you would get a 
positive integer. Let's check this out. It's going to be very interesting. Let's say you are taking 2 divided with minus 1 and on the other way you would take minus 2 divided with minus 1. Now please pay attention on the examples that I have taken. I have taken up 2 and minus 2. Here 2 is a positive integer whereas minus 2 is a negative integer and I am dividing both of them with minus 1. What is the answer that I am going to get? Let's check that out. 2 upon minus 1 is going to give us minus 2. Whereas if you do minus 2 upon minus 1, that would give you plus 2. Right? As we discussed, the answers on division will give a negative and positive integer. Here also we have got a negative and a positive integer. So that means that the laws that have been written over here are true. So this was about the properties of division of integers.